What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dibbin and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I am at $8,314.58. I am up $828.71 with a return of 34.60% right now. So as of right now, um, I've made $116.85 in dividends, which has been distributed in this fractional share portfolio. So the one thing that I really focused on and I'm, what I'm focusing on is my monthly dividends. So let's go to holdings real quick. Okay, I have 30 positions. Now Invesco SPHD, I have been focusing on these guys. I'm up 6.09%, but I have 13 shares. So that will get me, I think they're, let's just do 13, about 195, which is not bad, but QYLD gives off a very good dividend. And you know, that's a monthly dividend. LTC Properties gives off a monthly dividend. Pembina Pipeline gives off a monthly dividend. And Brookfield Real Assets Income Fund gives off a monthly dividend. So my long-term goal is to have $1,000 to $3,000 a month on my monthly dividends and right around $2,000 to $4,000 a month on my quarterly dividends. So I can treat that as a retirement pension, which is nice, but these guys are going to really start kicking in with the compound interest because I know certain stocks give off quarterly dividends. Now with a fractional share, you can have a certain strategy where, you know, this month gives off these stocks, this month gives off these stocks, which I am doing as well. But I need to get the machine going with this dividend portfolio. And so far, things are looking promising. I made my first you know, $100 on dividends. I'm on pace to make right around $1,000 a year on dividends, which is good. And just on my public um, rates, unfortunately, Rich Uncles, I will post a video on it with what's going on with them with the BRICS rate. I'll probably do that uh, later this week or this weekend. But these dividends are starting to kick in. And here's the other thing. These guys are not giving off dividends right yet, right now. These guys are not giving off dividends right now. But in the future, they probably will. So once the economy gets, starts getting better, once the vaccine comes out, once you know we start finding out more and more about the bug, and hopefully it's not as uh, fatal or hopefully in theory, again, don't quote me on this. I'm not giving out any uh, fake news or anything, but hopefully we find out that uh, this virus is evolving into a weaker form. So many people are claiming this. We don't have any proof yet, but these things will start kicking off. I can even sell this one. I only have a few shares in them. So, you know, I put some money in these guys. And the thing with Delta is they're starting to kick off a little bit. So I'm up 42.2% on these. These guys, I mean, they're going to start giving off a dividend again. Delta has done that. I know Buffett sold his airline shares or his airline um stocks but and then here's another one this one's not giving off a dividend but this thing is just starting to wake up so you know sure you know these things don't look good but right now in theory but they're gonna wake up pretty quick so I'm pretty excited for some of these stocks to start distributing dividends I'm hoping these guys start distributing the vaccine and I hope that these guys start waking up in the future. Westrock um, cut their dividend. I mean, their dividend is not as, um, as expensive or 
as attractive as it was before, but of course I'm going to hold on to it. That's a good company. It's just they're going through a rough time. So I'm going to really start putting money into these stocks, and I'm going to change a percentage on Pfizer and Coca-Cola and AT&T. These guys need a little bit of, of um, these guys need a little bit of a break right now. The price per share is kind of cheap. I know AT&T is going through some issues, but you know these are pretty good stocks and are not going to really hurt you in the long run. Aflac is doing well for me. Fastenal is doing well for me. So I'm excited to hit that $10,000 mark. I think when I hit $10,000. And each time I go up um, 5,000, maybe I'll add in stock. I have some very good stocks in mind. But I need to at least get, I, honestly, I need to at least get 20 in some of these stocks before I start adding other stocks. I mean, once I get 20, that's a different story. I can start changing the percentage and then adding a stock or maybe adding a section. Like, you know, I'll have like communications or some other things because... You know, I have 30, I have 30 stocks right now. So, you know, I can have a small percentage once I have more shares in them. And then once I start really racking up mon the money, the compound interest is going to start kicking in. So uh, there are some plans that I do have in mind. Uh, one of them is due to the, um, we may get a stimulus package and that is definitely uh, I am definitely keeping that in mind with throwing this in the Death Star and um, whatever happens with Rich Uncles, um, I may throw it in the Death Star. So there are a lot of opportunities to start putting money in uh, this portfolio, but the dividends are starting to really kick in. So this is what's exciting, $116.85. This is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then this is going to start adding more stocks and more stocks and more stocks and more stocks. So then it's going to start really kicking in and doing some damage. So it's starting to get there. It's starting to look uh, promising. It's starting to look attractive. But, it, you know, you have to be disciplined and you have to just leave the stocks alone. Let them do their thing and just go from there. So it is growing and we'll see what happens so again um if you guys are new to my channel make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos make sure you give me a like as well i am putting some time and some effort doing these videos to show you guys what type of stocks i'm investing in so i'm going to probably do another video later today a lot of you guys are asking me about a lot of these other stocks to do a stock analysis on um you know a few stocks that are out there i'll be glad to do that but I just wanted to show off my dividend portfolio and let you know how things are going. So um, I hope you guys have a good Tuesday. Um, it's a little crazy with college football, so we'll see what's going on in the news. But um, this is how things are looking, and um, I think the future is bright with my dividend portfolio. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the progress and the journey to get to $100,000 with this dividend portfolio, fractional share dividend portfolio. So um, I appreciate a lot of you guys uh, commenting and liking and getting active on this channel. Um, I think um, this channel is going to get bigger. It's starting to get bigger. And I'll be glad to post more videos on the uh, when I'm in graduate school and especially my dividend portfolio. And I'll do a stock analysis maybe once a week. And then I'll show off my dividend portfolio or do some fundraise videos. So um, just stay tuned. Just keep an eye on my channel. You know, once, once or twice a week or maybe once a day, even just check my uh, channel out for some videos that you may miss. So um, things are looking good. And uh, that's really all I have to say is, uh, you know, $116 in dividends. I'm up 34.46%. And um, see what happens. So... Thank you again and have a good one.